Example, 2.34 times 2.5. Let's line it up like this. Now we have two numbers on the bottom, and let's start the same way we did before. We'll start with a 5. 5 times 4 is 20, so we'll put the 0 here and carry the 2. 5 times 3 equals 15, and we add our extra 2 for 17. So we'll mark the 7 down here and carry the 1. 5 times 2 equals 10, and we add our extra 1 for 11. Next, let's deal with the 2. We'll put a 0 down below here. 2 times 4 is 8. 2 times 3 is 6, nothing to carry. 2 times 2 is 4, again, nothing to carry. And we're in our final step, where we add our two parts to get one final answer. 0 plus 0 is 0. 7 plus 8 is 15, so we'll put down the 5 and carry the 1. 1 plus 6 is 7. Then we'll add our extra 1 for 8. And finally, 1 plus 4 equals 5. 5850. Now, where does the decimal go? Again, count the total number of decimals involved in the numbers that we're multiplying. There are two decimals in the first number and one decimal in the second number. So in our answer, we're going to need 2 plus 1 or 3 decimals. So our decimal can move over 1, 2, 3, and our final answer would be 5.850.